Hey friends, happy Thursday. Hope you're having a great week. We're continuing in our navigation through 2 Timothy, and we're in chapter 3 today. And Paul has been sharing with Timothy his last words, his legacy, his, his encouragements for Timothy to continue in his ministry, Paul knowing that his life is close to the end. And so today, two days ago, we talked about um, Paul wanting to give Timothy his spirit, not a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and self-discipline, that that's how you'll lead well. And he wants to pass that on to Timothy. And then yesterday, we talked about the word of entrustment, how, how what Paul has been entrusting to Timothy as his protege, now Timothy needs to turn around and entrust to others who can pass it on to others, how the goal of our leadership is to pass the legacy on for generations to come. Today's word is a simple word, but it's crucial for our day right now. It's the power of overcoming, how, how we're supposed to help people learn that they can overcome adversity instead of run from it or avoid it. And this is a crucial lesson for us today. Here's what Paul says in chapter 3, starting with verse 1 and so forth. He says, know this. Difficult times, adversity, will come in the last days. <laughs> We're seeing that right now. And he says, people will be lovers of everything but God. They, he gives a whole laundry list of all the things they'll love that are more important to them than God himself. You don't be that way, Timothy. He says, Timothy, you need to understand, all believers will be persecuted. Verse 12, all of those who follow Christ will suffer persecution. They will have to face adversity. But adversity is where we learn to overcome. Think of it like weights. When you go work out with weights, the whole idea of the weights is to tire your body, to, to bring adversity to your muscles and your system so that they build strength by lifting weights. If you want, if you want more endurance, you lift a lot of you lift less weight, more reps. If you want more strength, you lift larger weights, less reps. And so the idea of weightlifting is to create strength by overcoming the weight. Well, God does the same thing with us. He doesn't keep suffering from us. He doesn't hide us from suffering, but he helps us overcome in the suffering. And he limits and controls the suffering to what he knows we can handle with his power of overcoming in our lives. Overcoming creates the greatest stories and it builds the strongest faith. So if we're going to pass on our faith to other people, we need to pass on to them this decision and joy of overcoming the adversities they face. I love football. <laughs> it's just, I know many people don't, you're probably watching, you may not like it, but that's okay. Because there's a story of adver overcoming adversity that I resonate with that kind of reminds me of this story. It's a real simple one. Back in 2014, the Ohio State Buckeyes had this great quarterback named Braxton Miller. He was injured in the early in the year, so J.T. Barrett took over, took over, drove that team to a like 11 and one uh, record. Ended up playing uh, in the game against Michigan, gets injured, and is replaced by a guy by the name of Cardell Jones. Well, nobody expected the next week for Cardell Jones and the Buckeyes to beat Wisconsin with a third string quarterback. But he did, soundly. And then the Buckeyes went on to play Alabama and beat Alabama with a third-string quarterback. And then they went on to play Oregon and beat them as well. Cardell Jones became this incredible quarterback in the system that they had set up for it. I want you to hear that story and think about yourself. You may feel like a third-string quarterback, but with the power of God behind you, you can overcome. And God has designed it that way so that not only will your faith grow stronger, but the spirit and the power of overcoming will be passed on to people you love and care about. Don't avoid adversity. Learn from it. Get stronger in it and grow. And we need to hear that right now. And I encourage you with that word today from 2 Timothy. We'll finish up tomorrow with chapter 4. Look forward to seeing you then. Have a great day.